Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. Here are three puzzles that prove mathematicians believe in ghosts. Puzzle one. A father leaves 17 goats to his three sons. His will specifies that one half of the goats go to the oldest son, one third to the middle son, and one ninth to the youngest son. But there is a problem. 17 cannot be split evenly to any of these fractions. So how did the sons divide up the goats fairly according to the father's wishes? Puzzle 2. You have several identical bricks and a ruler. You want to measure the distance between two opposite corners of a single brick without using any formulas. So you cannot use the Pythagorean theorem, for example. How can you do it? Puzzle 3. At 6 a.m., a monk started climbing a mountain and he reached the top at 8 p.m., where he slept. The next morning at 6 a.m., he descended on exactly the same path and reached the bottom at 8 p.m. He may have had a different speed and he did not use necessarily the same speed during the entire trip. A mathematician observed that even with these considerations, there must be a spot on the mountain that the monk occupied at exactly the same time on both days. Why is this so? Give these puzzles a try, and remember, these are three puzzles that prove mathematicians believe in ghosts. When you're ready, you can keep watching the video, and I'll present the solutions. Alright, puzzle one. How can 17 be divided into one half, one third, and one ninth? The trick is to add a ghost goat that makes the total 18. One half of 18 is 9, one third of 18 is 6, and one ninth of 18 is 2. The oldest son gets 9 goats. The middle son gets six goats, and the youngest son gets two goats. And now here's the neat part. We can now let the ghost goat disappear. And now the sons have divided the goats according to the father's wishes. Puzzle 2. How can we measure the distance between opposite corners of a single brick without using the Pythagorean theorem? What we'll do is we'll create a ghost brick. We'll stack two bricks on top of each other and put a third brick next to the bottom one. You can see there's a spot left for a fourth brick, which is now a ghost brick, because this brick is not really there. But we can measure the distance between opposite corners of this ghost brick, and that will give us the answer. No formula is required. In the third puzzle, a monk goes up a mountain, and then he climbs back on the same path. So how do we know that there's a spot that he occupies at exactly the same time on both days? Well, what we could do is instead of having the trips take place over two days, we'll imagine as the monk is climbing up the mountain, we'll have a ghost which travels exactly the same path the monk would take going down, but we'll imagine this takes place on the same day. This is possible because both trips start at 6 a.m. and end at 8 p.m. So when the monk is climbing up, his ghost goat is, his, the ghost monk is coming down, and necessarily at some point the two paths will have to cross. So this is a spot on the mountain that the monk occupies at exactly the same time on both days. Did you solve these three puzzles? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.